Dr. Rafa did save my life. It's okay, you're such a cutie. And I'll always thank him for that. If I could be treated anywhere in the world, I would 100% choose Dubai, I would choose CMC, and I would 100% choose Dr. Rafa Yahya. He did an amazing job. He is definitely the neurosurgeon that I would go back to if I ever needed to. And we're very grateful for all the hard work that everyone at CMC did. In March 2022, I came to my sister who's a medical professional in London and said I had these symptoms, which included um, a headache, I couldn't look at lights properly, I had severe nausea, I was vomiting. My name is Hanima Mohammed. my brother is Bilal Mohammed. Um, he was diagnosed with a brain tumour in March 2022 and he had an amazing experience with CMC and Dr. Rafa Yahya. I came to CMC Dubai um, after a recommendation from my sister. Um, she read lots of things online and CMC was the hospital she recommended that I come to. So he came through the ED um, and Dr. Rafa Yahya met him there, he spoke to us. Um, even though we were in a complete different country, he reassured a whole family that he was in good hands and he waited until the very last minute for me to fly in just so I could be with Bilal before he goes down into surgery. Um, while your Bilal was in surgery, Dr. Rafat was amazing. He spoke to me, explained exactly what he was going to be doing, what he did, he showed me scans, he showed me the tumour that he took out um, and he really reassured me and my family who are so far away in London that he was going to do well. Dr. Deborah was my oncologist. She was great. She spent lots of time with me talking, explaining what was happening, and explained my post-treatment therapies, what needed to be done. She was very kind, she was very smiley. Behind the mask, I could tell she was smiling. Quick referral to my radiologist, who um, we saw up her surgery. Brain tumors are unfortunate health conditions, but fortunately, they are rare, even rarer are the conditions that cause direct threat to life, like the one that Bilal had. Also, like the one that Bilal had, many of these tumors are benign in nature, and they are treatable. And when treated appropriately, patients usually go back to their normal life. There has been, over the past 50 years, a significant advance in the treatment of brain tumors. These advances include advances in operating room setting, advances in anesthesiology, advances in ICU care post-operatively, and also advances in the surgical technique itself. Here at CMC, we have been up to date with these advances, and we are ready to provide our patients with the best treatment options possible. And even the aftercare, so Bilal went through CMC, had amazing care from the nurses, the other doctors. Alhamdulillah, I fell in the hands of Dr. Rafa, um, uh, Dr. Rafa Yahya, he was incredible. The service he provided was amazing. He um, taught me through every step of the process. He admitted me the next day, which is unheard of. I came on a Friday, and by Saturday morning I had my surgery in London, that would never have happened. And I had an MRI done. And in the MRI, it showed that the tumor was eight centimeters or seven or eight centimeters big in diameter. Um, and he answered all my questions, told me how much blood he was given, told me every little detail, and I had lots of questions. I don't know if I've said it before, but he cut my scar very beautifully and left the scar, which I am very proud to wear now. Um, and that just shows my journey in Dubai. And even to this day, he, we're still in contact, we still talk. Um, I update him on Bilal all the time and it's the best experience I could have ever had. Bilal had just come out of surgery and he was obviously still a bit like, high on the painkillers and stuff. And Dr. Rabbit had just woken him up and said, oh, everything's fine, we did well, like your, your tumor's out. He goes, um, and a hip book, Dr. Rafat, and a hip book. I can hear Bilal screaming and really loud because Bilal's not quiet. He's a very loud person. He's got tubes coming out of him. He's like, and a hip book, Dr. Rafat. I can't thank him enough. Inshallah, this never happens again. But if it did, I'd have no hesitation to fly back to Dubai and see Dr. Yahya for anything that happens in the future.